what's up there guys this is the new 2500 milliamp battery and as you can see uh, I did want to talk about this the paint that they use on the foam this is where my fingers go to put the batteries in and out and it's starting to wear the paint off so uh, same thing on this side you can see where my fingers go that's really weird that it does that uh, as you can see the upgrade batteries are <laughs> quite a bit more large than the stock batteries are so you can see where the stock battery normally is and then they add this entire camel hump to the back of it so these are uh i want to say 1100 1200 these are 1200 milliamps these are 2500 milliamps so i'm going to do a flight test uh, with my screen recorder as soon as i start the screen recorder i will bump this up in the air and get it flying inside the house and we'll see exactly how long it gets with a hover test so if you know anything about quads it takes more energy to hover than it does to fly uh, moving forward or backwards or in any direction it takes less energy to actually move the quad than it does to sit there and hover it so hover test let's see uh, if we can get around 12 to 14 minutes out of this 2500 milliamp jiffy battery brand new fully charged so see what happens Okay guys, screen recording has started. Let's take off. We're gonna let it sit there with the optical flow sensor. If I need to adjust it at all, I will. There's not much light inside here. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of flight time it gets here. Alrighty guys, low battery alarm is going off. Beep, beep. We got about 12 minutes of flight with the upgrade batteries, which isn't quite the 15 everyone was saying, but remember, that was the hover test. The actual flying part apparently uh, is a little different. You get about 15 to 16 minutes of use if you're actually cruising it and flying it. Hovering, not as much. Now I do know that you can actually buy the um, AR uh, 2.0 batteries that work in this. They give you about 17 minutes of flight, almost guaranteed every time. They're also 2,500 milliamps, but they have a higher C rating there. Uh, C rated at 20. See, these are only 10 C. I want to say 11 one, yeah, 10 C. <coughs> so. We are now going to compare the 12 minutes I got with this battery, and by the way, I let it go all the way until it force landed. So it landed on its own at 4% battery. So that was the flight test of the Jiffy 2500 milliamp, 12 minutes, uh, roughly in a hover test. So you're probably looking at a calculated 14 minutes of flight time, 14 to 15 minutes of regular flight time. So let's uh, put the stock battery in here. Uh, this. Uh, 1200 milliamp and run it until it runs dead just so you guys can have an idea of the difference between the batteries So I'll see you in a sec 
Okay guys, stock battery test. Here we go. Okay, force landed at just after eight minutes. Okay, so there you go. Eight minutes almost on the dot, and this one was just about 12 minutes, just under 12 minutes. So you're looking at about six minutes of comfortable flight time with this and easily 10 minutes of flight time with this. Uh, just, just fair numbers, if I'm being fair here, you're looking at easily 10 minutes of comfortable flight time. Uh, and six minutes of comfortable flight time. Um, like I said, if you're moving and you're on the go and you have a direction, you can probably get a comfortable 13 minutes of use out of this, 13 to 14 minutes maybe uh, of use out of this. Uh, but to be safety zone, about 10 minutes of use, and that's 2,500 uh, milliwatts at 20C. So. Honestly, if they could make this same battery in a 10C discharge rate, you could probably easily get better time out of this. Um, this is 10C at uh, 1200 milliamps. So like I said, comfortable flight time for this is six minutes and it force lands at eight minutes. This one force lands at just about 12 minutes. Remember, this is a hover test, guys. Uh, actual flight is going to be Extended flight time if you're on the move and you have a, a, a direction anytime you're hovering it takes more power to sit there and hover so like I said six to seven minutes of comfortable flight and Easily, you know almost 14 minutes 13 to 14 minutes of comfortable flight time before you you definitely need to be coming back and landing uh, coming up on those time frames, so a uh, good investment these are definitely a good investment so I'm waiting on the rest of my parts to come in for this we're going to build my own sky controller. What? Woo. <laughs> All right, guys. Drone worship, and I'm out. Toodaroo.